جی ناظرین کولمبو میں وزارت کھیل اور نوجوان کے عمر کی جانب سے وزیراعظم عمران خان کے اعزاز میں تقریب کا نکات کیا گیا ہے اس وقت وزیراعظم عمران خان موجود ہے یونیورسٹی آئی ایف جسٹ بلٹ مائی فارمو کلیگز کرکٹرز ارجنا ہو آئی کمپیٹڈ لوٹس آف ٹائمز آن دی کرکٹ فیلڈ لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹلمن فرسٹ آف آل آئی ایم ہمبلڈ بائی آل دی Uh, remarks made about me by your former cricketers who I played several times over my cricketing career so I want to thank them and actually really I feel humbled there were some of the things that were said um, I want to thank you also Mr. Speaker for saying uh, for uh, saying nice things about me so thank you very much uh, And then I'm, uh, I'm again honored that you have uh, asked me to open this sports center, high performance sports center. But today in front of uh, my ex-colleagues, I just want to say a few things. You see, number one, sports teaches you, teach, teaches you something which you do not learn in any university or any school. Because the, the idea of competing in sports is to prepare you uh, for life, for struggle in life. The problem is that some sportsmen, when they finish their sporting career, they uh, live in their comfort zone. They do not want to take any more challenges. And the entire experience of struggle on the sporting field which is taught to you is lost because the moment you do not take on any other challenges means that that experience which you've learned how to struggle is gone so let me just say one thing what did sports teach me sports taught me that It was not the most talented player that became a champion. It was the player who had that ability to take the knocks, who knew how to take defeat, who was not demoralized by defeat, but who learned from, from the bad times. Because in life, whatever you do, Life is never in a straight line. It's in circle, cycles. You will, you will have your ups and downs in whether it is education, whether it is in business, and as Arjuna would know, in politics. It's, it's a cycle. You have your good and your bad times. Success depends upon how, not how you deal with the good times, but how do you deal with the bad times. In sports, no one has ever become a champion who has not learned how to cope with the, when that defeat comes, when you fail. If you do not know how to cope with that, you can never become a champion. There are two ways people react to a defeat. The, one is they get demoralized. And when they get demoralized, they lose that dream. They give up on the dream. Second are those people who become champions that who actually learn from defeat, who do not give up. But every time there is a, there is a setback in life, there are lessons to be learned. So that ability to analyze where you went wrong and then pick yourself up and start struggling again. That is the only way you become a champion and that's the only way anyone achieves anything big in life so what I feel is that sports prepares you it gives you that ability that you can actually excel in anything whatever you do if you have learned those lessons from sport you can excel in it <clears throat> so in my case I was not a I was not the most talented uh, cricketer when I started My two first cousins were 
both of them Captain Pakistan and both of them, uh, all my other cousins said, were far more talented than me. So when I was growing up, I was, oh, oh, I was always told that I was never going to be as good as them. Uh, and then uh, when I played my first test match, I was dropped. And everyone thought that was the last they would ever see for me, of me. So for three years, I never played. You know, I was out of the cricket team. So there were two ways. So many of, over my playing careers, so many of cricketers which, I, uh, which were dropped after the first match never came back again. The majority never came back again. So uh, there were two ways you could, you could, I could either give up and chase another career, or you could actually learn from uh, your, your first test appearance or your first test tour. So it was that I constantly, the reason why I was succeeded uh, more than a lot more talented cricketers than me was that I had that ability to analyze my mistakes better than others. And then the second ability, I would work harder uh, than most others. And that's why if you have that ability, you will keep improving. The improvement process never stops. So um, uh, when I came into politics, uh, I was just like my first test match. Uh, my party never got one seat. We were wiped out. And, uh, you know, everyone wrote my obituary in politics. They said, this is the last you will ever see of him. And I became the butt of all jokes in the political circles. And I must say, I was very naive politically. So I became butt of all the jokes for not one year, two years, five years. For almost 14 years, people laughed at me. They always thought that this guy will never, ever make it. Because I, I took the untrodden path. I didn't join a political party. I didn't, uh, I didn't join a group of old politicians and then form a party. I started alone with no political background, <clears throat> with no uh, or, uh, politicians, no um, established politicians, but they wouldn't join me anyway because they thought I, I had no chance of winning. So I started with very few people, and for 14 years, Arjuna, message for you, for 14 years I was alone with very few people, and but of all the jokes, and no one thought I would win. So it was the lessons I learned in cricket that helped me in politics. The key, the key lesson is that you only lose when you give up. As long as you don't give up, no defeat cannot make you lose. It just, um, it's, it's just a way of strengthening you. There's a, uh, there's a verse which, is, uh, which I've always uh, uh, followed since I was a boy. It, it is one of our greatest poets wrote this little verse which said it refers to the eagle or to the, the hawk who's flying way above everyone else. And it, it tells the hawk, he says, oh hawk, don't be scared of the force of wind that hits you. It's only meant to make you fly higher. Because when you have resistance, the Almighty has made us human beings such that the moment we face resistance, if we stand up to resistance, we get stronger. We in Islam believe uh, that the human being was made by the Almighty God, even above angels. And we in, in, in Islam believe that uh, when Satan was banished by God from, from heavens, it was the reason why Satan refused to bow in front of man. While all angels bowed in front of man, Satan refused. Because he said, I'm made of fire, I'm superior to him. And God told Satan that, look, even you don't know the power I've given to man. So we have immense power. All of us have incredible power inside us. But that power will only come out when we face resistance. When we pit ourselves up against challenges, only then that power comes out. 
that potential, that human potential only comes out then. Problem is that somewhere along the line we give up and that's when we lose. So when you, the more you face resistance, the stronger you get. If physically, if you put your arm against a, a higher weight, your arm will get stronger. But the mind is the powerhouse. And the more you put your mind into to, to resist and to challenge, it just gets stronger and stronger. So eventually, I mean, it's, it's hardly ever happened in, in um, anyone who understands politics. In a two-party system, it hardly ever happens that a third party breaks through. And so we, my party, we broke through a two-party system, two established parties, and we got more seats in the parliament uh, than all of them. But it took a long time, 22 years. So the lesson for young people, the youngster who was saying he was still in, um, who was uh, uh, very young when we won the World Cup, the lesson is simple. All of us can become whatever we dream of. We should never stop dreaming. Anything that you can dream, you can achieve, provided you are, you are prepared to struggle for it and provided you do not get demoralized from the bad times because, but instead, every bad time is a, is a, is a time of reflection, self-analysis, so that you even come back much stronger. I must say that it's a pleasure for me to see my old colleagues here. Uh, I, have, uh, I have watched Sri Lanka. I came here first time straight out of university in 1975, uh, and I remember playing against the Sri Lankan team. I always thought they had talent. I always thought Sri Lankan teams had especially batting talent. But then they did not have the self-belief. They did not believe that they could, they could win. It was exactly the same with us. When I, came, as an 18-year-old, first played for my country, I remember we toured England. And I remember my senior players telling me that, look, do not think we can beat the English. You know, then colonialism was much fresher in 1971 when I first played. They said, you know, we've just come here to learn. My own senior players were saying, do not think we can beat the English. And as it happened, we, a series which, 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 which we, we should have won, we snatched defeat from the jaws of victory because we didn't have self-belief. So I remember in 75, Sri Lanka faced that same problem. And gradually I saw the team evolve develop self-belief, and I must say, I, I commend you, Arjuna, because you were the one who actually instilled in them that grit, uh, determination, self-belief, and we were all very pleased to watch you win the World Cup in Lahore. I again thank you for you honoring me today. کولمبو سے یہ براہ راست سرمنی آپ ملاحظہ کر رہے تھے جو وزیر اعظم پاکستان عمران خان کے اعزاز میں منعقد کی گئی تھی وزیر اعظم عمران خان کا کہنا تھا کہ کھیل آپ کو وہ کچھ سکھاتا ہے جو کبھی آپ کسی ادارے یونیورسٹی یا کالج میں نہیں سیکھ پاتے اس کے بعد ان کا کہنا تھا کہ کھیل آپ کو مقابلہ کرنے اور جیتنے کا سبق دیتا ہے ان کا کہنا تھا کہ جو اپنی ہار سے سبق لے وہی اصل چیمپئن ہوتا ہے وزیر اعظم عمران خان نے آخر میں کہا کہ محنت اور لگن سے ہی ہم سب وہ کچھ بن سکتے ہیں جس کا ہم خواب دیکھتے ہیں اور خواب دیکھنا ہی آپ کو جیت کی جانب گامزن کرتا ہے وزیر اعظم عمران خان کے اعزاز میں کولمبو میں تقریب کا انعقاد کیا گیا جو کہ سری لنکا کی وزارت کھیل اور امور نوجوانان کی جانب سے کیا گیا ناظرین اسی کے ساتھ ہی آپ سے چاہیں گے اجازت ہما ملک اور شاہ نسیم کو دی جائے اجازت مزید کسی بھی خبر یا اپڈیٹ کے لیے دیکھتے رہیے پاکستان ٹیلی ویژن نیوز